Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is your Release Your X reading. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Hit the notification bell. We are going to hop right into it, Pisces. First card of your reading is the two of wands maybe you're dealing with a fire sign person aries leo sagittarius but this is someone being at a crossroads about passions maybe there's two people to choose between oh excuse me excuse my alarm maybe there's two people to choose between but being at a crossroads or maybe it's whether or not you choose to stay take this person's offer or leave it there on the table oh pisces Oh, Pisces, you have the sun. More fire sign energy here. This is happiness. The grass is greener here on the other side. This is like bliss and love. So where do we have this crossroads with happiness here? What's the crossroad? Or is it happiness either way you go, Pisces? Interesting. Oh. There's happiness down one road, but somebody owes you a, an apology here with this Knight of Cups. Water sign energy here. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person, but this person owes you an apology here. So here's happiness, maybe a clean slate with someone new, but then there's the ex coming back wanting to offer you this apology. What are they apologizing for? Mm. Oh, somebody ghosted you somebody ghosted you and they're coming back now and now putting you in a position to try and choose after they were two-faced see that their mask oh ho, ho, ho. doing things behind somebody's back here maybe a fire sign let me know who your person is pisces down in the comment section who you're dealing with who owes you this apology Underneath this two of wands, this crossroads is more of your water sign energy here, Pisces, but this is Scorpio energy here with this death card in reverse. I feel like you're ready to be at this transitional point that you're ready to close this door, but what door are you closing? What door are you closing, Pisces? Interesting. I also feel like with this death card energy that maybe you've manifested the situation, like maybe you've moved on with somebody else, but secretly you were still wanting some type of closure here or wanting to know what could have happened with this person if they just came back and apologized. And now with this Mercury retrograde, maybe they're back. Maybe you know that they're wanting to make their way to you. And I feel like you're ready to close this thing out and see that in this image, see this cup of fire here? Is it a fire sign that you have in one hand? And a Scorpio and another? Ooh, is that it? Let me know, Pisces. Let me know who these people are. Underneath the sun energy is the hermit. Virgo energy here. So two major arcana right underneath each other. So maybe is there happiness with a Virgo or an earth sign person here? Or maybe it's somebody who's very spiritual on a spiritual journey. Or maybe that's where you are right now, Pisces. Is that where you are? Is that this crossroads with this person? That you're on the spiritual journey? Maybe you've been single for a while and very much enjoying your ability to be free and run free and have your fun and not be tied to this person that's very dramatic here in the background. See these things that are going on? Interesting. And now this person just wants to come back now that they see you peaceful and offer you this apology for what? For a heartbreak, for stabbing you in the back here when you were vulnerable with them with this Three of Swords air sign energy here. Oh, yes. This is the card of heartbreak and betrayal here. Oh, they just want to casually ask you for an apology after they broke your heart? Oh, just let me come on back here. I see you happy, doing good on your own now, Pisces. Can I just come back in here and offer you this apology and we go back to everything being good? Mm -mm -mm. See this water here, Pisces? This is your energy. Um, there's distance. There's some emotional distance between you and this person. Maybe they're not emotionally given to you the way that you've given to them, Pisces. And with this temperance energy, let me know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius now. This is you trying to be patient with this person after they ghosted you. Yes, for some of you, you were. You have moved on maybe to someone else or you just are happier now alone. And you were patiently kind of secretly waiting for this person to make their way back around. But I feel like now you don't want it because you're so moved on. You've elevated away from this situation, maybe even closed the door on this, that now you're like, mm, do I really want this person to come back? That when I needed the, them to communicate about what was going on here in the background in the past, they just ghosted me, didn't have anything to say. And now they want to come back and offer me this, this apology, this cup of love. Mm. Underneath this two of wands, um, death card energy is the knight of wands. Fire sign energy here. This is the player card. 
So yes, this person was in and out, probably putting you in third-party situations here with this Three of Swords, betraying you, betraying your trust. Absolutely, no question about that with that Three of Swords. Lying, you, lying to you, sending you mixed messages, playing games with your head and communication. Oh yes, this person completely swept you off your feet, did all of the right things, um, made it seem fantastic. They pour, they've made you feel like they poured into you emotionally with that Scorpio energy. And now... Now you've moved on and they put you in this position. Where, ooh, what are you about to do, Pisces? Underneath the sun and Virgo energy is the nine of pentacles. Pisces, this is you. This is you. This is the strong, independent woman who has everything all, um, all together card. This could also be for males as well. But with this, know that you are the total package here, and that is exactly how this person sees you. This is Virgo energy. So with this being the Virgo card, this hermit energy, this person sees that you are happy and abundant right now, and they want a piece of that. They want to see you back again on your feet, and they want to drain your energy one more time. How are you feeling about that, Pisces? You want, you want to try that on? I feel like with this in the reverse, you're not willing to try that on because with this introspection and this Mercury retrograde, you're deeply reflecting on where you are right now and where you've been and all this journey that you've been to get yourself back on your feet emotionally and closing out this cycle here with this death card energy. You're ready to, you, you don't want nothing to do with this motherfucker. Excuse me. Not trying to feel it. You don't even want to hear this apology about this betrayal. And with this four of cups, more of your energy here, this is... A missed opportunity. This person is hoping that they don't miss out on this don't miss out on this last chance opportunity with you. But I feel like you're sick and tired of trying here, Pisces. I feel like this is you. This is on its deathbed with this death card energy. They want to rebirth with you, but I feel like in the back of your mind, you just know that this is over. You've come to terms with this being over and done with because you started something new here with this Four of Cups. Mm -mm. It's not a missed opportunity for you. You've moved on. Last card of this reading is the King of Cups, Pisces. This is water sign energy. You could have been dealing with another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio person here. But know that this king, this person that's wanting to come back here, Pisces, this offer, they're a flirt. They're here one minute. They're over there. This is that player energy. Oh, yeah, they're very smooth. They're so slick they don't get wet, okay? This king, mm-hmm, real slick. They want to come back. They want to offer you this cup of love. What's this in the corner here? Is that just a rock to sink you, to sink your ship? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They just want to tie you and lock you down. They don't want anything other than that from you. Bottom of the deck energy is the four of swords for you, Pisces. This is air sign energy here. This is the card of sitting on some information before you make a final move here. You're not like, I feel like this person's reached out to some of you. And for those of you that hasn't, that it hasn't happened yet, you're going to wait before you respond to these text messages from this person because you're going to wait to find out some information here, watch their actions, make sure that um, what they say to you is correct here. But you're not taking this person's offer. With this being in reverse and taking these stairs, you're exiting stage left out of this situation. You don't want this person back. You are closing out the cycle without them. Last but certainly not least, this Aquarius energy here with the star. This is wish fulfillment. I feel like you wanted some type of closure, and I feel like when this person comes back with this apology, you're going to have some type of communication with them where you get this closure that you need. And maybe it's not the words that they say, but it's what they don't say that lets you know who this person really is. This person is going to show you something with this um star wish fulfillment energy this is that closure you are wanting so that you can walk away because they're yeah they were breadcrumbing you in the past with this knight of pentacles energy taurus virgo capricorn breadcrumbing you uh, pretending that they wanted to take this relationship to the next level or offer you more moving in investing together in some time in some form or fashion but things never really moved on Pisces, let me know if any of that resonated for you down in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I will be checking in with you soon, Water Sign family. Keep it real. Reach out to me for a personal reading. I have a few slots left. That information is down in the description box.